Well, it's a fast and fun way to get around downtown Mobile, but now there are safety concerns when it comes to those gotcha scooters. Tyler Fingered is live in the downtown area with why the new addition to the port city could be considered dangerous. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, hey, Lenise, these scooters are all the rage in downtown Mobile. They launched just five days ago with about 200 scooters, but in that time, there have already been several crashes. With the flick of the kickstand, the new gotcha scooters are a seemingly simple way to get around. I feel like this is a good thing because you can just like get somewhere really quick, get back really quick. I think it's very cool, but um, it can be a little dangerous at times. Since the scooters hit the street less than a week ago, Mobile police say there have been two crashes. One left a car with about $1,000 worth of damage. In the other case, a person had to go to the hospital after falling. If you don't know how to stop properly, you can flip yourself over in this thing, and, and it's a heavy piece of machinery. According to a Consumer Reports investigation, at least eight people have been killed while using rideshare scooters since mid-2017, and at least 1,500 people have been hurt. A local rider says his sister-in-law was injured on one in another city. She um, like swerved and like it kind of like slid out from under and she broke her wrist like had to get like a titanium plate in there. When riding through the streets of downtown Mobile on a scooter, you have to follow all of the traffic laws like stopping at stop signs. You also are not supposed to drive the wrong way and you're not allowed on sidewalks. Gotcha says you have to be 18 to ride and recommends the use of a helmet, but they aren't required by law. I feel like it's not the bike itself, it's who's riding it. According to one organization, 38.5 million trips were taken on these types of e-scooters in 2018. And according to the CDC, half of all injuries on them are uh, uh, you get a head injury and that uh, that is part of the reason why some cities across the country have actually banned them. We're live tonight in downtown Mobile. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.